Learning construction. Learn, share, expand. Hey guys, this is Ernie with learningconstruction.org and I would like to talk about uh, the different types of framing walls that we use in construction. Okay, so let's get started. I would like to talk about the two most standard types, which is the uh, structural or the bearing. This wall should have a bottom plate, a uh, pressure treated plate. The next item will be the studs for the walls, which are typically a 16 inches on center, but depends on the structural wall. And the last item will be the two top plates, which will be, which will be supporting the floor or the roof trusses. These plates will be a nominal size, the same as the bottom plate had, uh, 20 footers in length, and they're gonna have to be a pretty good material. You were gonna put a ton of nails on the top plate to make sure that they don't twist or bend and once again you're gonna use them as a base for the second floor or for your trusses. The main difference between the uh, structural walls and the interior walls are that these interior walls don't have two top plates they only use one and the second one is only for uh, support. So as you can see in this picture the interior non-bearing wall only has a two by top plate and then a piece of one by on the top which is used only for termination on the wall and it just basically hangs off the truss or supports itself to the truss or the joist above and that is the main difference between a bearing wall and a non-bearing wall okay so now I want to give you an example of how the exterior and interior walls will look on the drawings if you look at the simple drawing of the house that we're building right now, you can see how the exterior walls are always going to be your bearing walls, and that's pretty standard on any building. And your interior walls are going to be all those uh, little walls, you know, like closet walls or uh, diagonal walls, pony walls, between bathroom and restroom door walls. Those are all the little filler walls that we, that we use to separate rooms. Those are typically non-structural. Okay, so that's it for this video. I uh, hope you guys liked it. And uh, if you guys have any questions or uh, videos that you want me to make, please send me an email or visit the website or just comment on the box below. Uh, once again, thank you very much. This is learningconstruction.org. Thank you.